As a kid, I always dreamed about having a house in the mountains. So when the mountain lab became a reality, it really was a dream come true. It's really ridiculous to walk out my front door and snowboard down into my private snowboard park and ride powder all day by myself or enjoy a fun day out there with my friends. It's crazy that my dream actually worked out so well. Grab your tip and land on the other lip and snap your neck.
only shows that you're blind And when you know it's all over And you're going insane Well, I'm just there to remind you That I can't feel no pain Why don't you let it be? Todd's an excellent snowboarder. He's got so much experience and so much uh, time on that board and it just it really is a treat snowboarding with him Sister, take care of me. Parker, good plant. Duck -a -duck -a. Yeah, for me, the mountain lab's like super convenient. It's only 20 minutes away, and it's pretty cool because there's like, oh, what do you guys want to make? What do you guys want to build today? Maybe we could jump the road gap today. All right, let's get some salt and get the in-run all dialed in for you and stuff. So it's kind of like having your own private park, I guess. So that's, that's what I like about it. Another bonus with the lab is having snowmobiles at hand. Like, I took a few in the backcountry this year, and they're just like, oh, yeah, you need an extra sled here, take it and load it up. I think the best thing was was the stair set up with the rails. I mean, I didn't really do anything on it, but that was the funnest thing. It was like touchdown landings. My last train is pretty good. The last couple days we've been treading. It's been nice because uh, good weather, and then we've been getting early morning grooms thanks to Kenneth right there. Okay, 
service rice. To my surprise, <laughs> we had a double rug gap. Even though you had to speed check your nuts off in between the two, but it was a pretty hot line because you had big row gap, a little bit smaller row gap, hip, wall ride, and you still had speed to hop on a lift and do it again. Could you ask for a better setup? Five years ago, and Ken sat me down. He's like, "Hey, check this out. Here's my, uh, here's some drawings of this place I want to build. It's, it's going to be called the DC Mount Lab, and you know, and I have uh, jumps and boxes out front, and you guys can ride through the house and jump off the balcony." And I was like, "Yeah, cool, man. <laughs> awesome." It's important to practice good hygiene At least if you wanna run with my team I'm about to get into some shit that I've seen This fool's breath from his old battle about your ice cream They say don't say nothing if you can't say nice things Sitting too close to him on board like my ice sting I tried to be subtle, hand him a stick of gum I was a victim of breath on him Running his yap about what set he from Gotta get some gum, gotta get him some He turned it down, his teeth was brown It's cruciating more and it was a nuisance I had to ask the dope to pass the soap Cause his cone had to slip the crustaceans Or bathrooms in the bus station He had a can of O.E. and some raisins Amazing, had to Tobio, he didn't know Used to the fragrance, just as the days went without bathing He felt manly and not like a maiden He had one dread and fungus Said he worked on people's toilets with plungers Girls not the That was pretty much tongue, some original shit We went to Montana, uh, this place called Cook City. Cook City is a really interesting place. It's a real snowmobile type of town. like me.
Eric, can we fly home today? <laughs> Put the Ray Ray suit on. It's like going back in time. But people, some people just don't understand, man. They don't understand the suit. I just like to catch some sky, touch rail, and I'm out there. Young Buck is doing really cool buttery stuff. Front side three, nose slappies, nose tails, scooters, got good style. The last three days I've been here in Salt Lake at the DC Mountain Lab in Utah. And it's been lots of fun. I've just been shredding the rails and testing out some boots and outerwear and uh, just basically warming up for the contest tomorrow at uh, the Hard Rock in Vegas. Driving, driving, telling me why Can't you read the post-it notes they call road signs?
in uh, in exactly seven days. Let's, I am. Let's but, go to the Mount Lab and, and uh, we'll go. We got some missiles and stuff to go. Yeah, off. we're gonna um, jib missiles. I've yes. heard pink ones. And it, I heard it's the bomb. I'll see you in the circle tonight. Steady. Hello, we are here at the Mountain Lab, it's summertime, and uh, we're checking out some of the boots for next year, and we are talking to Gunny about what we liked about the park this year and what we want changed for next year. What happened to the wall ride? And uh, now we are about to go to some sort of a pool party. at the epitome of training.
You don't need shovels. You just pick this bitch up out of here. Meat and cheese, baby. You know it means meat and cheese. Ah! Once again, thank you. Thank you, kids, for coming up. Look at the mountain live here. 22 acres of glory. Big black. Keep it pimping.